we have proved the reciprocity of resistive two port networks, but only for three terminal two ports. Now, we will see how it can be very simply extended to four terminal resistive two ports. Okay. So, let us say we have a four terminal two port like this and it consists only of resistors. Okay. Now, what is it that we want to prove? We can prove this in terms of any of the four parameters. Let us say we think of proving z 1 2 equals z 2 1 for this network. Okay. Then what does it really mean? So, let us say I connect I 1 to port 1 and nothing to port 2, I leave port 2 open circuited. Clearly, what comes out at uh, port 2 between these two points is z 2 1 times i 1. This is from the definition of z parameters okay. and similarly, let us say I connect i 2 to port 2 and leave port 1 open circuited. The voltage that I get here would be z 1 2 times i 2. Okay. Now, what I have to prove is let me call this V 2 and just to distinguish between these two, let me call this I 2 hat, then the voltage here would be z 1 2 times I 2 hat and I will denote that voltage by V 1 hat. Okay. So, the hat refers to the second case without the hat it is the first case. So, essentially V 2 by I 1 would be z 2 1 and I have to prove that that is the same as z 1 2 which is V 1 hat by I 2 hat. Okay. So, essentially the open circuit transmission parameters from one side to the other side that is what I have to prove to be equal for both sides from port 1 to port 2 and port 2 to port 1. So, this is how I will go about proving the reciprocity for uh, 4 terminal 2 ports and I will use the results I already know from 3 terminal 2 ports. Okay. What I will do is since I already have the proof for 3 terminal 2 ports that is 2 ports in which there is a terminal common to the 2 ports. I will also try to define this in the same way. I will define this 1 prime as the reference node. Okay. So, then this is port 1 as we already know. Okay. My actual second port is between 2 and 2 prime. But of course, nothing prevents me from defining another port which is between let me call this as A between node A and the reference node. Okay. So, let us say I call this port A and this 2 prime I will label as B and I will call this port B. The actual second port I am interested in is between 2 1 2 prime. Okay. So, that is what I will get to prove, but now essentially I have defined 3 ports with a common terminal. Okay. This 1 prime is defined to be the common terminal and this between this uh, terminal 1 and the reference node that is one of the ports terminal 2 and the reference node that is another port just to distinguish it from the other 2 ports that we already have I will call that port A and between terminal 2 prime or B and the reference node I have the third port which is port B. Okay. 
So, now if I take any two of these. So, let us say port 1 and port A or port 1 and port B. So, each of these is a 3 terminal to port. Remember the network is resistive, I can define the ports anywhere I want. The ports given to me are between 2 and 2 prime and I will eventually prove reciprocity for that port, but I am now uh, defining two other ports with the same common uh, terminal as port 1. So, I can take any two of these ports and use my earlier result for 3 terminal 2 ports. Okay. So, what does my earlier result for uh, 3 terminal 2 ports say? If I take this case that is take port 1 and port A as the 2 port network, I know that Z 1 A is Z A 1. Okay. And similarly, if I take port 1 and port B as my two ports, I will have Z 1 B equals Z B 1. Okay. Fine. So, now let me try out the two cases. In the first case, I will apply I 1 to port 1 and leave port 2 open circuited and let me define this as the reference node. If I leave port 2 open circuited, then port A is also open circuited because I do not have anything between this and the reference node. Remember this is terminal A and my reference node is over there and this is terminal B and the reference node. Since I open circuit 2 to prime, I also have an open circuit at port A as well as at port B. Okay. So, what is the voltage that appears at uh, port A? Clearly, I can think of uh, port 1 as one of the ports, port A as the other port. So, if I inject I 1 into port 1, what comes out here is Z A 1 times I 1. Okay. Z A 1 is the parameter from port 1 to port A and similarly here at port B, I will have Z B 1 times I 1. Okay. So, I calculate these two voltages by first considering 1 and A as one of the two ports and then 1 and B as one of the two ports. Since, I do not connect anything to these two ports that is ok. Right? If you really want to, I could draw two separate pictures for this and that, but when I apply I 1, I will get some voltage here and some other voltage there, which I can uh, express in terms of the two port parameters between port 1 and port A and port 1 and port B. Okay. Now, what is my actual second port voltage? V 2, this is V 2 and clearly you see that by using K V L around this loop, we will have V 2 to be Z A 1 minus Z B 1 times I 1. Okay. So, I have applied a current here and found out the voltage on port 2. Now, let me take the other case, where I open circuit port 1 and I want to measure V 1 hat, when I 2 hat is applied over there. Okay. So, again it is the same network of course, the same resistive network that I have been taking all along. Now, this is also an opportunity for me to use one of the earlier theorems that we discussed. What I will do is the following. Okay. My calculations were with this point as the reference node and I had defined 
two other ports port A and port B with this node being the reference node. This was port A, it was between this terminal and reference node and this was port B which is between this terminal and the reference node. So, what I will do is the following. I have copied this over, then I will split the current source I 2 hat as two identical current sources in series. So, I can do this because the series combination of two identical current sources is exactly the same. We have seen this in the earlier theorem that we discussed as splitting of the current source and we also saw that we could connect this node to any point in the circuit and I will choose to connect it to the reference node. Okay. Now, why do I do this? By doing this, I see that this upper current source is basically exciting port A and this lower current source is exciting port B. Okay. I already know the results between port A and port 1 and port B and port 1. I know that reciprocity holds. So, that is why I do it like this. Okay. So, now since I have two sources here, I will use superposition. So, I will split this into two cases where I have only the upper current source active over there and only the lower current source active over there. Okay. Now, what is the voltage I get at port 1? So, now port A is fed with I 2 hat. So, at port 1 I will get Z 1 A times I 2 hat okay, with only this current source being active. Now, if you look at the lower picture, port B is excited with minus I 2 hat because of the direction of the current source. Okay. So, here port A is excited with I 2 hat and here port B is excited with minus I 2 hat, because the current flowing into port B is minus I 2 hat. Okay. So, the voltage here is minus Z 1 B times I 2 hat. Okay. Now, in the original case, I have both of these sources being active. So, the actual voltage V 1 hat would be the sum of this voltage and that voltage. Okay. So, the voltage here would be Z 1 A times I 2 hat minus Z 1 B times I 2 hat or Z 1 A minus Z 1 B times I 2 hat. Okay. So, pretty simple I split the current source took one current source at a time got the outputs and I have this as my uh, output at port 1 when port 2 is excited. Now, I also know that port 1 and port A form a reciprocal two port port 1 and port B form a reciprocal two port. So, this is nothing but the same as Z A 1 minus Z B 1 times I 2 hat. Okay. So, the voltage that is developed here V 1 hat is the same as Z A 1 minus Z B 1 times I 2 hat. I think you are already able to see the reciprocity here but just for completeness the parameter z21 will be v2 by i1 with port 2 open circuited that is v2 by i1 in the circuit which turns out to be za1 minus zb1 okay and the parameter Z 1 2 would be V 1 hat by I 2 hat in the circuit, which is also Z A 1 minus Z B 1. 
So, that is equal to z 2 1. Okay. So, by a simple extension we can prove reciprocity for a general 4 terminal resistive 2 port. Okay. So, this is proved basically we have proved that z 1 2 equals z 2 1 and in doing that we used reciprocity in 3 terminal resistive 2 ports and we also used the earlier theorem on splitting the current source and superposition okay because we were using reciprocity in three terminal two ports we had to define uh, some other ports with a single common node as the reference node okay and we were able to do that quite easily hope that's clear